Gollum is one of the most beloved digital characters ever created and he's back and completely reconstructed for The Hobbit An Unexpected Journey. We added fine dirt, skin defects, and layers of cracked skin to bring out detail in his textures and shading. In addition, we added peach fuzz to his ears and face and also gave him a little haircut. Audiences generally connect with the character's eyes and Gollum's were completely reconstructed. Special attention was paid to the caustics and the muscle movements around the eyes. Because Gollum's eyes are so large, we also found we needed to animate extra eye darts in places to keep him looking alive. In addition to using a full tissue simulation rig for Gollum's body, we rebuilt Gollum's facial puppet to take advantage of our fact solver. We also added dozens of extra detailed shapes for fine wrinkles, skin sliding, tension controls, and some custom shapes we observed on Andy. With 48 frames per second, we were able to add twice as much fidelity when Andy was speaking quickly or his face was quivering with anger. In rings, the Gollum Smeagol transitions were communicated through pupil dilation, but Peter wanted to push this further, so we created an uncomfortable physical spasm each time one of the personalities took over. The whole riddle sequence was shot like a play, live on a set, not on a motion capture stage. We used remote performance capture technology with active LEDs synced with the camera to give us more freedom. It allowed both Martin and Andy to have direct interaction and feed off each other's performances. I have a game of riddles. Yes. Yes, just, just, just us. Yes. We were very proud that one of the most emotional and powerful moments in the film featured one of our CG characters. Azog was one of the last characters on The Hobbit to get design approval. Originally cast as an actor in prosthetics, Peter Jackson decided Azog needed to really stand out from the rest of the orcs, so Azog became the seven-foot pale orc that we see in the film. This meant a very condensed time frame to get him up to scratch. Since Azog was now an entirely CG hero character, we moved to performance capture. At this stage, we know how to guide a capture session to get the type of performance we need for the character. Casting his key and Manu Bennett's muscular build and the heavy-weighted mace prop gave his captured motions a weight and a feel that seemed both powerful and believable. It also helped that Manu just gave the perfect performance that fit into the design of Azog the way that Andy Serkis fits into Gollum. Using our muscle simulation system allowed us to get the base motions onto the character very quickly and gave us time to really work on the finer details of his character. We also have a very robust facial system that was started during Avatar and improved upon with each new film. We have artists at every level who have used this system for years and know how to use it to best effect. As a result, in a very little time and with very few tweaks, we had a working, believable facial performance for Azog. Whereas with other CG characters we have developed from scratch, it can take months before they start feeling right. But with a bit of luck and a lot of artistry and technical know-how, Azog showed up in shots pretty much fully formed. 